Hey, welcome to the last NIV tournament here in Richmond, Virginia. I'm sitting here with Paul Lady, and we are going to be your commentators for the next, I don't know how long, Paul. Hey, we can go all night. How about that? Absolutely. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, it, this is a crazy weekend. It's been very emotional. There's a lot going on. Oh, man. We got Golden Tee going on. A lot of people came in. I believe there's around 140 I think we're on 100, 130, 135, 130, 133, yeah. something okay. like that. But we're going to go live here to um, – We're playing, uh, looks like Lake Powell. Yep. And so uh, tell me tell me about this course, Paul. Oh, this course, man. It can it can set up great and it can set up horrible. Um, one's never drivable, so that's why I like it because it's not, it's not one of those courses where, you know, if you don't have streaks, you can't drive it, right. you know. Right. And then it's an overtime match. You can't, you know, and the match is over. That's – yeah, so this is a great match between David Duncan and Barack Timmel out of uh, Houston. He's he plays, gotten so good over the last year or two. Well, he plays in the uh, Houston, oh. As I say that. Um, he but, plays under the Houston regime yep. with uh, Stenmark and Paul Luna, great players in the, the game, ambassadors yep. for Golden Tee. He's a, he's a good buddy of Chad Hart's. And Chad. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Chad's the one. I think Chad's his guru. So what do you think here? Nine? Yeah, definitely a nine. You can, might be able to get an eight up, but I would, yeah, he's going to go with an eight. See, the cliff always screws with me because it plays like, it plays normal, you know? And then when you play on dirt, Ooh. see see what I mean? Yeah. You know? Uh, but when you play on dirt, it plays worse than sand. All right, Stu, take care. Hey, so take me back to this poll real quickly. Uh, Lake, let's set up Lake Powell. It's a great ship. Great ship right, by uh, Great ship. Safe bar. But take me through this through this course. It's an interesting okay. setup. Do you uh, – is there a particular club set, balls that you need to play in? I play the same bag I've been playing for the last two years where I got two drivers. I got a seven bird. I got three wood, five wood. I don't play a four wood. There's been a few times, you know, where it's like, oh, I could use a four wood here. But, you know, you can always cut a three to knock it down. Right on. And let's talk about David Duncan. He came in as the number one player that today. Yep. He's playing well, shot, what, 33, 32, had a ridiculous cycle. I think I'm going to pull up the website. Or I believe the, uh, it was a 145 or 146 it was something ridiculous cycle. like that. It was. And uh, he's playing well so far. Yep. What's his game like? Dave Duncan's? Yes. Is he, he, he can be hit or miss at times. You know, there's, you know, like you saw in the qualifier, he's he, he can roll through the qualifier shooting a uh, 145, you know, but. I just watched him and Brandon Robinson go at it, you know, and they were both 25-25 going into overtime. And who won that game? Dave Duncan. Okay. It was on hole two, and Brandon didn't drive the green. Yeah, I feel like, and I think about the 2020 courses this year, Lake Powell is, is one of those courses that can really, you can either score well or not. Yep. So you can, Brandon Robinson dropped an 18-under on it, but still made the cut somehow. All right, so we got Dave. David's up, I believe, by one, mm -hmm. going into hole three. Uh, routine here. Routine, yep. Uh, if you're going to thumb a six wood, it's going to come up a little short. So i definitely put some release on it, just like he's doing. Perfect. All right. Pulled it just right. like that. Yeah. He's, I mean, the, the key here, one of the things that I learned as, as players, knowing your club distances. Always, always. That is the biggest... That is the, what, um, well, the way Kinsler has always explained it to me, he's like, know your club's dis club distance because as you get good, you're not going to be off left and right. You're more or less long or short. Right. You know? So once you learn and get that club distance down, you are, you're golden, you know? And that's what puts most of us up there at the top. Yeah, absolutely. Which great. You know, when I first joined the NIB seven years ago, Greg was one of the first players that came up to me and said, hey, don't be nervous, Mark. Enjoy yourself here. Mm -hmm. Have a good time. And, you know, seven years later, I'm still coming back to the tournament. I mean, you can't not. I mean, this is a great tournament. I'm sad. I'm probably going to cry as I get on the plane tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it. Uh, actually, later tonight, it's probably going to be very emotional after everything is done and whoever we crown is the winner of the last NIV. Yeah. I think we're that, all going to that, be. That's something they can hold on to for the rest of their lives, Absolutely. too, you know. I won the very last tournament, the, one of the longest-running tournaments. So here's an interesting hole. You, I, I've seen this hole come up short, mm -hmm. and I, I see him. He's teeing it up high. 
But I've also seen people, players play hooks in here and spinnies, all kinds of craziness. Depends the distance. If you got to get a little more oomph into it, yeah, you'll play a spinny if the wind's correct. Yeah, see, the problem, I, I love, David's in a great place, but his avatar, you know, that Santa mask can get in the way. Yeah, Although, but he, he well, you, you, yeah. you wear that, don't you, <laughs> Mr. Black Santa? Yeah. <laughs> I do. Uh, and I remember uh, Six Feet when um, you and Greg, uh, probably three, four years ago, went out and videotaped. And that's how I got to know you, at least on the stream. Oh, no, it, wasn't, it was me and Eric Nelson. We okay. were doing, oh, yeah, Eric, that's right, Eric. It was the year of Greek Hill, and uh, uh, that's the like, course I remember the most. And that's <laughs> a perfect setup, Eric Nelson, ambassador to the game. Yes. The Golden Tee fan. Par par uh, was it paranormal? paranormal. Paranormal. He's a great guy. He is. He's awesome. I mean, he really uh, has. And he, moved, he moved up to Chicago. I haven't been able to hit him up, you know, to go play a few, but I will one day. Yeah, Eric is an uh, uh, awesome guy. So I've never gone here. I just, yeah, me neither. I, I find it, I just don't find it like. There should be no problem with this show. I mean, like you can have the same shot from up on the top of the fairway on the right side. But that's the uniqueness and creativity of Golden Tee. Yep. And everybody who doesn't know, I mean, Jim Zielinski and his team constantly are throwing out creativity mm -hmm. and figuring out ways to continue to draw players in. That happens to be one of the shots. This is the first time I've seen him from this area. That's a great shot. That's a great shot. So he's still down one. Yep. Um, man, being down one on Duncan is is it's tough. That's going to come up a little short. Yeah, but he won't miss this. There are going to be a couple swing holes, Paul, as we get. Uh, 16 is going to be one of them. 16. What about the uh, par four over the mountain? Is that drivable? Four. I think it's I think it's number, is it 11? 11 or 12. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there when we get there. You know, um, just the elevation change on this course totally, I think, is probably my biggest pet peeve about this course. Why is that? I just don't like elevation changes, you know, because the wind affects it more. The ball spins more. You know, if you got a severe downhill and you got a wind in your face, so now you got to play that the ball's going to land and then automatically either shoot back if, you, if you're going right. into an uphill, right. or you got to play backspin and it's not going to kick as much back up a hill. So this may not be your favorite. No, definitely not my favorite course. Uh, I personally like the elevated change. Yeah. Monument Valley brings, uh, you know, I think about Monument Valley. Yeah. You know, last year, Catadreus was an interesting course. Catadreus was fun. Yeah, I Catadreus, was, that. I mean, you when, know. when they twist the tee boxes in the halfway through it, the year. It changed, like, oh it, my it, it was a game changer after it that. It was, absolutely. And then when they started doing randoms, like, they started mixing them both. That was even better, you know. There was times it was a blind 33. It was. You know. I never shot a 33, though. <laughs> Have you? I think the. Um, What's your best score? On on no, Golden uh, Tee? Uh, uh, Golden so just, Tee. Just period. Um, not on a daily, obviously. Nope. Um, I think it was 33, I think, blind. A daily. Are you seriously bringing up the daily, Paul? Oh, daily. How, how dare you? Hey. I mean, if Everybody, you, get, if you, if you get 16 looks at the well, same Well, it's kind of like when you play one through five. People yeah. count double eagle putts as a two, but a lot of people don't. You know, so it's like some people verify. Sorry for the pause. He's taking yeah, a picture. Taking a picture. I didn't want to look we like are a, celebs. Yes, I didn't want to look like a complete <laughs> idiot. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm excited. Right now we're just getting through the main bracket. We finished up. We're, we're getting close on the pink and the, and the uh, purple brackets. But this afternoon is going to be exciting. Oh, my gosh. I cannot wait. We may not be on the mic when it comes later, but let's set it up. I think we should be. I, I think, think, I think it's going to come down to just Denmark and Duncan. I think it's going to come down to Taylor and Duncan. Taylor and Duncan. Yep. For King of the Hill. You think Stenmark? I haven't looked at the bracket and the way it's set up yet. But, right on. But Taylor, Taylor took down Stenmark the first game. So this is a routine par three. Nothing here. Just line your tee it's up. A little, it's a little the, long. but It's a little you know, long. But just mind your distance and, you know. Have you tried those uh, new balls yet, the Titans? Uh, I have not tried the Titans or the darts. Oh, I haven't played, tried the darts yet, but I just played the – I just as soon as it came out and I saw Adam Kramer playing the uh, the Titans and I just watched the way they move, Yeah, I'm just like, I got to do it, and I've, I've been in love with them ever since. Well, the thing here – Oh, look it, at this. Look at this. Oh. Wow. Here's a classic move. Courses came out the 24 technically. I mean, they've been out for a couple weeks. Yep. 
hit 24th in my area, Washington, D.C. I'm a player up in Northern Virginia. I play out at Fins and uh, various uh, locations up there. Mm -hmm. I, I could have made a typical new move and gone to balls and changed my clubs. I didn't do that. Okay. Uh, I, my good friend Paul Luna texted me and said, hey, play these particular clubs and balls. I switched, and I was like, that's Mark. That's not the right way to do that. I will try them when I get home. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward. I, I'm a home machine guy. I'm playing the same setup as clubs just as change, I was. But you just changed your balls. Just changed the balls. I like the way they have the distance of the barrages, I feel like, and they have the uh, spin of um of a grabber of a grabber okay you know and the 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 only downfall with them i think is how high they bounce right they, as soon as they hit the green they will shoot straight up and i think kevin's trying to get fresh with me here yeah. um, <laughs> <laughs> hey he's on the set but what do you mean by bounce i, I have no idea what so that means. like let's see here see see how that just does that little like Bounce. thing the um sorry the titans will jump higher than that so you got to account for that when the ball hits the right. green okay you know yeah at, for people who are looking for new balls that, i mean that's critical yep. to understand what your ball does when it hits the green right. whether it backs up whether it checks forward whether it has like a little bit of a side roll right everybody plays this game so differently yep i switched about a year ago to streets okay and i'll tell you what it has increased my gameplay I played well in South Carolina. I didn't play as well this weekend. However, I, it, I well, you, no. I mean, with this with, with this weekend, I will like. There were some people that didn't make the cut that definitely should have made. Like I've, Puff, Puff definitely should have made the cut, and he was number thirty three. And I just think it's a Puff's been like, thirty three for <laughs> yeah, he's been thirty three for a while. <laughs> but I think this yeah. one is more or less because there's so much emotion involved with this. Wow, w that was a beautiful oh shot. Oh my God, he is dropping darts without playing the darts. Um, but there's just so much emotion involved with this. He's going for uh, it. Going for it. Now, now wow. Kink's, Kink said it um, when I was playing uh, at the Sullivan shootout one year. Um, Kink said it best. He's like, well, when you're playing match play, going for a hole in one, a hole in win is kind of like a big forget you. You yeah. know? Yeah. It's like, it's like, all right, now I'm going to hole it and win some money on top of it just to, you know, show you how big I am. Is he going to curve this in? What is he going to do? Is he going to play a full? I don't know. Um, with this setup, I could you could get the five ten there, or sorry, yeah, the ten five. Sorry, um, cur about curving it. I don't think you need to if you play it just right. Really, he is gonna play a full. He's gonna. In this. I don't think he's gonna up. full it. No, he's not fulling it. That's not a full. But he's taking his time, which is what you. I you know. I love to see that with. There it is. Look at oh backspin. He I thought he had backspin on that. You know. He is. Pretty, he, he looks like a technician. He, you know, you he know. reminds me of his, you know, little uh, Luna. I don't, I oh, mean, yeah, that, that move not, right there, though. Yeah, that little the, pullback, you know. You know. He's nice. He's, he's a good guy. He's going to be an up-and-comer. Yes, definitely. Uh, I think the, I know they say that about me, the too. The Turkish tornado. <laughs> well, they keep saying it about me, you know. Maybe I'll break through one oh. of these days. But, quite frankly, I play this game for the enjoyment. Of the, yeah, you know. I'm not going to get rich off of that. No. I have a great career. I enjoy where I work. And um, this is really my uh, my haven. So yeah. tell me this hole. This is the hole I was talking about. Oh, okay. Um, hole it's really not, I don't think it's set up for a drive. It's definitely not, not set up for a drive. I think Duncan's using stouts. Where if you guys don't know what stouts are, they uh, cut the wind in half. So really he was playing into a six and a half wind and not a 13. Got you. So balls matter. Yes. But stouts kind of don't have the distance that the grabbers or the um, barrages or the titans or the darts have. Look. See, now he, he put it up there. Now he can chush it in or do a six-wood chip, which is what I like. I prefer – I can't chush to save my life. What is a uh, – are you serious? It, I mean, for somebody that doesn't play the game, yeah. what is a chush? A chush shot is like – so you have your regular thumb shot where you don't pull back, right? So you just move the ball forward, and you just move the track ball forward, and the ball you're... takes off and, you know, like a chip. I don't but think it's he's more, chushing it, though. No, I don't think so. He is, um, but it's supposedly more accurate because you don't, because you don't pull back on it, so you don't get the cut. Thank you. That. Do you want something to drink? Oh yeah. Haley. So, sorry. Hey. Sorry guys. No, no. King, King. Haley. Haley. Here. Yeah. Uh, can you get it? Oh, okay. Okay.
one needs enhancement. I don't know. Did okay. he pull it back on that? I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, I'm sorry. I did not, we missed that. Yeah. But I think it, I think it, in terms of your trust, the way you described it, it's a dip. Oh, how's that? You got to move to the left. Oh, right. how's that? Is that good? You see this okay? All right, <laughs> perfect. Good. All well, right, let's get back. Well, Duncan's, uh, got on, Duncan's got one T left. We're on hole 12. Yep. Yeah, but he can still buy T. This hole, this hole can, uh, this probably like, this hole and what's the uh, what's the other last the second to last par three, where it's you know it's always a high tee driver always seems like it is it's going. Yeah, in. I think the elevation hole is going to be the par four elevation on this course is going to be the difference maker. I on it no, I think it's going to be 16 with the tier green. Well, let's see how it plays out. In the yeah. meantime, this is a pretty routine. I mean, you can. You, I, mean, I think you can cut it. You can cut a 10-5 in there if you get, if you get on it. Yeah, he's going to cut it. Yeah, he's thinking about it. He's taking his time, and that's what the like. Your your nerves kick in during tournament play, and you just want to go 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 go. See, I'm normally a fast player. I yeah. finish a round in like seven minutes. Yeah. You know. That's me. But during tournaments, I try to slow myself down. I don't know if that's a good thing or he a bad thing for me. He does Chad Hart with the with the pull back. You know, Chad Hart does that. Nice. Nice good putt. It's a very good putter. All right. All right. So okay. we're still. Going to 13, Going, yep. par five. Tell me about this hole, how's it set up? This hole, this is a one, I love this hole. Everybody hates it, I love it. I think this is probably one of the funnest holes in 2020. I'll tell you what though, interesting enough, the island out in the middle of the ocean, yep. whatever that is right there, yeah. is gonna come into play when they move the Oh, boxes. absolutely. Right absolutely. now, I have never gone there. And there, there, there I don't think, I've never had a, I've never had a uh, time when you could get there, you know. And what is the reason you would go? I mean, honestly, I, I don't think there's going to be any value there. I mean, I if love you had, hole. maybe if you had like a 14 outwind and you could high tee a driver over there, okay, and then maybe chip it and try to hole it out, you know, give or take. But now yeah. I, I just don't get it. This may also become a drivable par five. I'm thinking that this may. It is a par five. I know it is. No, no, drivable though. Oh, it, it might. It, I, it, can, I can see that coming into play. And then have 12 you know, mile where hour wind coming. I'm thinking maybe like, like maybe they'll have a T on the uh, like the from where they're sitting yep. a T on the left side. Yep. You know, Absolutely. and then trickle it down, or yeah. you know, I mean, it, like some of the holes in Dodge City where you got to go over the buildings. It's gonna be great. It's, I'm telling you, this hole right here will be a difference maker coming in, in the second half. Of you the know, how many texts I got from people going, man, these new courses are just gravy and easy and this, that, and the other. And then you come to a tournament and everybody's like shooting 25s, <laughs> 26s. It's like you thought you said they were gravy, buddy. The way I always feel, and IT does a great job of this. Incredible technologies, by the way. It, this is a fantastic game. Oh. What they do is they turn on like the on dim on the burner. It's low to give everybody happy, mm -hmm. and then they turn up the gas on it and yeah. be like, "Oh my God, 17 pushing towards the water." And people go, "Oh yeah, this is easy." Yeah. And then uh, you know, I, I qualify with Mark Stenmark, obviously number one player in the world. Yep. And um, he's playing fools. Yep. And cut, and I'm like, no, <laughs> I don't have that shot in my bag. On uh, on the on Grand Teton, um, yesterday, yeah, with uh, hole number was it six, 15 or sixteen, uh, 16. through the trees, through the trees. I, you played, I you. played a full three wood, put you, it put it five feet from the hole. You asked me to play a full three wood. I, oh, yes, yeah, right, that's I, right, I did. I played and you, a, you 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 didn't you didn't get on it like I told you to. I should have hit a little bit harder, but yep. I, I had to, I executed it right. It yes, just didn't it was come up. Anyways, let's get back to the match. We're on hole fourteen. I haven't checked the score. Dunk, it's see. the same. We're, we're still square. Still square, and I think he's down by one. Yep. One. Or not square, sorry. Yeah, I think yeah, he's down by one. Yeah, we're still same spot. Yeah, this one is interesting. It, it can play long or short. Yep. And there's a lot of wind coming in your face. And I have a feeling that these other fairways will come into play at some point. I, I think it'll turn it into a par four. It is a par four right now. Oh, it is? Yeah, it is. Oh, it is. I thought this was a par three. No, it's a par bad. four, yeah. I like how he's playing a 10-5 with a high tee. Give a little more height. Take away some of the spin aspect. Taking his time. Yep. He doesn't like his pullbacks. That's key, though. Yep. Look you're at this. Be you're better Look at off. This. You're better off resetting. Uh huh. If you're not ready to go, uh -huh. it's just like real golf. Absolutely. If you have any thought that comes in your mind that is different than execution, mm -hmm. reset. And I was, you know, I played basketball growing up. Mm -hmm. You know, in this game, this game's about tempo, 
and you have mental agility and making sure that when you're ready to execute, you execute. Tell me about that. Um, first tournament I ever went to was um, the first, uh, sorry, PEGT tournament uh, yep. I went to was Chicago back with the days of Royal Cove and uh, Tundra. Was that Tundra? Royal Cove and Tundra. Yeah. So that, that was, was the year, wasn't that the year the Grizzly Flats? I believe so. Tundra, Whispering Valley. No, no. Whispering Valley was 07. I know that much. Whispering Valley was the same year as Rustic Bridge. Okay. No, 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 no. Whispering Valley was 2012 or 2013. I think we're going to, uh, Mark Tate's going to go ahead and uh, Google this. I'm going to look up while you, but your story. Keep going with your story. Um, but and they had actually had a, it was at the uh, at a place called um, the Pub House, and uh, they asked they asked Greg Kinsler about Mark Stenmark, and the only thing he said was that man has ice water in his veins, <laughs> and then Mark changed his name to Iceman for about three months after that because of that interview. <laughs> That's awesome. So let's see. So let's see here. We're going to go through the Golden Tee Fan website, www.goldenteefan.com. Yeah. So you guys want to learn? Remember what I said about Whispering Valley, right? Yep. I believe Whispering Valley. All right. So 2012 was Bear Lodge. Okay. Then there was this year, Royal Cove, Tundra. I was right. Okay. Auburn Glen. Yep. Uh, and then yep. Whispering Valley. No, no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean Whispering Valley. I'm thinking of the Minnesota course. Something Springs. Oh, that was... Uh, Springs. Heading back towards no. the Sparkling Waters. Sparkling Waters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's what I was thinking. You know, um, like those uh, yeah, White Claws you're drinking. You're, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, White Claws are great. You know, what people don't realize there's no calories. There's 100. So, there's settles your stuff. I mean, I, 100 calories versus <laughs> a lot of calories. All right, well, so this is the, right, I think this, this one hole is the make or break hole right 16. here. You're right. I think you called it. You know. Um, How do you play this hole? If I have an outwind, it's it's uh, something with bite, whatever whatever it's going to be. So right now I would probably be doing, I'd be doing this 10-5, back it up to the back of the box and thumb a 10-5 five, five driver with bite. With bite? Yes. Really? I, every time I've hit bite, it's always come off the top tier. But a thumb, because because with bite, the more harder you hit bite, the more it backs up. But if you just Ooh. so so now did he tough. thumb that or he did he, he did thumbed he thumbed that. So seeing what he did, but he's playing stouts. So no, I don't, don't know, I don't what, know what Brock is playing. Uh, three hundred two with the two ninety. Maybe uh, barrages. He might be playing barrages. They didn't bounce. I didn't think. Well, they, they might be actually. You know what? We're going back on the holes. Um, right, I wouldn't see. Release. He's doing release. I wouldn't do release here, not with like, because you got a little out push he's, with the. I wing. think he's playing for the backboard. Oh, okay. He's cutting it though. He's taking some. He's taking some stuff off of it. Yep. With a baby cut. Oh, hold. Oh. Wow. So you know, so I just. Uh, there's I have a question though. Would that have stayed up there if he hadn't put anything on there, or would it have still come off? I think it would. It would. I don't think it would have gone off the hill in general. If he didn't have release on there. Okay. Well, this is a critical hole. He, he, very he critical needs hole. to chip it in. And he's uh, going to have to play it like although, I, he's going to have to play it like it's a right eight. Honestly. Although if Duncan, he's he's in the rough. He could he's come a, off. He, he could come off. Yeah. The top. That's a it's a Duncan's got a tough chip, and I don't know what if he's got the if he's got a super spin spin uh, wedge. I think he'd be fine. What would you do here, Paul? Would you chip it? Oh, absolutely. Five hybrid, just like he's doing with bite. Okay. Yeah, I, but I'd play it like it's a right eight. Right eight. Of, yeah. Because of the way the, the tier is. Okay. I had that in my last match, and I made one almost like this, except it was up in the top corner over there. Well, this it, reminds me. I mean, w over the last couple of years, we've seen a lot of these tier greens, uh -huh. which are fantastic. They are. You think about Crawdad. Nobody wanted to play Crawdad last year. Nobody wanted to play oh Crawdad. My goodness. But once you learned it and you learned the shots and the club setup, yeah. like, that was really the only – and course. by the way, Crawdad That was, was the only course I changed clubs for. Yeah, so a lot, a lot of people don't know, um, but they remastered a lot of courses last year. Yep. You know, they've been doing it over the last couple of years. Let me say that. They've always been doing two courses. Yep. Crawdad was one of those remastered courses. Yep. Same and, with Pine Meadows. And Pine Meadows, absolutely. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, what did I tell you? Oh, no. This could be okay. interesting. But, this could be. But this Brock, is Brock is on the hill, though. Golfer one. 
Um, uh, I'd, putt should, that. I'd, I'd putt he's that. He's got to putt that. Yeah, there's no there's no way to ch- I don't know. I don't think of any he reason has, to chip he, that. Well, he has a chance, though. This, this is a, oh. this is what happened. I spilled a little. Uh, it's okay. What happens. I got it's all cleaned up. Long weekend. Yep. We all, yeah. All right. Man, this, you know what? This is big right here. This is huge. Played out like a five. That's all I got to say. Let's see what happens. Got it. Beautiful. Beautiful. And we cool. are. Well, let's see what Duncan does here. He, I mean, no. I've never known the Stouts to roll over. We're square. So we're square. We are square going into 17. Ooh. Outstanding. 17, what a great probably, match. probably one of the easier, one of the easier par 317s That's on true. this year's course. Courses. But we, again, we got David Duncan, number one qualifier. And oh, he's got a nice 12 push. Brock Tim, uh, Timmel. How do you say it? Timmel or Timmel? I have no idea. <laughs> well, Timmel. It's probably Timmel. Timmel. But. He's playing well. I mean, he this is, is his first he, NIV. You know, one one NIV. screw. It's all he's had is one screw up. Yep. That made it. A nice shot to the green. Okay. Yeah. Please keep us. All right. Let's see. <coughs> Duncan's got a three hybrid. He loves that three hybrid. I love that too. That's a great club. And I don't have a three hybrid. It doesn't get me. It, uh, I just don't I don't, it. I don't know what I would have shot on Jamaica yesterday Without. if I didn't have that three hybrid. Really? Yeah. So I need to change my. Ooh. Ooh. He was begging. He yeah. was begging for it. I mean, this this is going to go into extra holes because 18 is pretty 18, simple. Yeah, you know, these the last two holes on this are probably the easiest last two holes I've ever seen in Golden Tee. You know what I think? They had to move 16 to 18. That would be fun. That would be. But. You know, everything's Cause, already cause set up. At the end of the day, that's, I mean, yep. Perfect. I got you. All right. Here we go. But, you know, this game, by the way, this game's going to go into overtime. So we may not be able to close it right away. Yeah. We're going to go into extra. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Let's right. see what uh, he could. You never know. He could hold out. I don't think. I think I, he's going to play conservative. Uh, you know what? Go for it. You know, oh. you don't pay five dollars. Why would you? Why would you go for it when you? Still, you know, you still have a chance. I mean, you have a chance to walk it off. A chance to walk it off. Would you rather? And with this, with this setup. Oh, he unlocked. He unlocked quick shot. Yeah. Why did he do that? I think he wants to watch it. I don't know. He wants I don't to go. know. He, 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 I, hey, I, have, I think he's going for it, man. Do you think he's inside, Duncan? Uh, he went conservative. Uh, he did. He did. All right. He so. went conservative. It's a big putt, even though. He got it. Ooh. 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 Wow. <laughs> wow. Hop, exactly. skip, and a jump on that yeah. one. Yeah, well, this is huge. All right, so we're going to go to overtime going here, OT. Paul. Here, I'm on the mic at the last NIV with Paul Lady from uh, Chicago, Illinois. Mark Tate here from Washington, D.C. area. Golden Tee players here on the com- on the commentation stream with Twitch. We got Golden TV, Intelli- uh, Incredible Technologies, mm-hmm. PEG. It's so hard to say that. P-E-G-T? P-E-G-T. You got Tour. this. Dot com. There we go. And uh, we're having a great day. Oh, man. Less, oh, 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 wow. Oh, oh, really? Really? Oh, my goodness. We got to get on that. I uh, know. <laughs> uh, how can I make sure I'm on there, Adam? Yeah, yeah. How, can we, how can we both make sure we're on there? <laughs> I would love to be on Twitch for just five minutes. <laughs> this, this guy's voice alone is like, hey, he hey. should have He should have been a sports commentator. For uh, well, I used to do voiceovers back when I was in college. Nice. Is, what's scary is I, my voice has been this deep since I was about 16, 17. Really? So it was always, I, but I was like 135 pounds when I said hello, and they'd be like, <laughs> What's going on? But no, I'm having a great time. We, look, this is awesome. We're having, uh, like as I said earlier, last NIV here in Richmond, Virginia. 130 players. All the sponsors are out. This is a fantastic venue, and we're gonna miss it. Oh man, I, I can't. Like, it just this whole the town of Richmond is awesome because I walk here from my hotel. I don't, you know, I don't Uber from the hotel. Who does? I don't. I walked. I walked it Where here. Where are you staying? Holiday Inn Express. Me too. Really? Carrie Street. 
Yeah. yeah. Right on. We're not staying in the same room, though. No, <laughs> no, no. I got my but, own little uh, room. It's let's, okay. Let's get back to the action. Here we are. <laughs> Here we are. So, Sudden death. So Here Paul, we go. I need you to explain how overtime works for anybody who's listening. Okay. Um, overtime. So you end of the round, tied up, and uh, hey. Look at look, you're, you're just very pretty. We got to um, look at the cameras right yeah, there. Right. So the way overtime works is so you end a round tied up. So the person who has honors on the last hole takes over the honors. So in this case, Brock would be leading. Yes, correct. Okay. Um, and then it's the first one to hole out or or um, take a stroke before the other player. It they is win. sudden death, right? Sudden death. So there is no play nine, play another 18. Nope. This is no, no, this no is hold the first, hard. First one to screw up or the first one to do better? This, this is where this right. is where it gets interesting right here. All right, we're back in the action, guys. Here we go. <coughs> Excuse me, Lake Powell. Yep. Hole one, not drivable. Not. That's what I love about this course. That's the only thing I love about this course. <laughs> so, all right, he's, so uh, they're going to probably set up here for a straight in win to just go for it all right now. So Brock laid up top of the mountain. Yep. Top of the uh, top of the fairway. Yep. That's exactly what I would do too. What's he going to have in? Uh, I'm thinking maybe a six wood, maybe three hybrid if he has a three hybrid. I think Duncan has a three hybrid. Duncan does have a three hybrid. <laughs> oh, good call. Thank you. All right, let's see. Do you put release? I would definitely, yeah, with the, with the severe downhill because right. your spins, with the back wind, your spin is going to react different. Okay. So I would definitely put release on it because it's going to land so, like, come down so straight. Just want that little bit extra. Yeah, I've heard, you know, the six wood is an interesting club. It, 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 people call it the cheater club. I wouldn't call it that. I would, it's, it's a very, it's, it's hard to control your distance on because it can go, you could hit that thing to go 275 yards or you can hit that thing to go 200. Right. It's All right, let's see what group. Here we go. Well, he's, he's off a little bit. See? Uh, he may have put roll on there. Yeah. But with this about an 80 mile an hour thumb I'm with, thinking, with I, release. I'm thinking he may hold this out. I don't know why. Uh oh. Oh. 84 with a release. Pretty. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. All right. So no blood, no blood. So game's still going. Yeah, but on the front nine, are there really any differentiated holes though? That's are going to make a difference. We may have to go to the. We may have to go to 16 to really. We might. I mean, the us. only scroll, uh, the only hole he um, messed up was the first one because he overhit it. He did. You know, and he and he adjusted for his mistake. And now, here we go. Right. Let's let's see what's going to go down. Yeah, right here. See, this I would just nice and I smooth. Something That's about hitting backspin on this hole I don't like because back, see how it bounces like that? Yeah. You know, that's why I always hit bite when I go into the, like, and I got a downhill that I know I'm hitting into because bite will just hit and then kind of roll. Interesting. I haven't gone to the other fairway. I have not yet seen a no. setup where you can get to the other fairway. I think it purposely um, did that. You're right. I don't think there is. I'm trying to, I've only played like two or three cycles. Okay. You know. Um, I thought you retired. What, what I was going to, I was going to retire. I did. Um. You know, I was at your retirement oh. party at two years ago at the NIV when you were you took your job. I know you got a new job. Finn, no, you know, no, no. I have only well. had this new job for a year now. I was going to retire because um, I was having my kid and the job yep. I was working. You know, really wasn't going to be able to afford going to you know going to these tournaments and having a kid and all that other stuff. You know, um, so but and I got a new job where I'm making a good amount more nice. and I'm able to travel. Fantastic. Let's get That's, back to the action. Yes, here. sir. All right, we're going to be a little bit to the right on that one. Okay. But no blood. No There's blood. No blood Points right don't now. matter. Points don't no, matter. No, it's great to see you, Paul. I always, oh, uh, always uh, appreciated you. watching your, your game. Um, I know that you and, and Eric used to go on the stream and sort of set people up. Mm -hmm. And that's sort of the evolution of this game. It continues to evolve. The stuff that The only issue I had with doing that was um, they were the betas. Yeah. And so there were things that changed, you know. Well, after, that's typical. You know, so... I really preferred it when we would do it, when the actual whole thing came, the yeah. whole system Part came three. Out. I think, you know, Duncan had three hole-in-ones yesterday. He may hold this out. Yeah, you know what? That was yesterday. Today's a whole new Today's day. Today's a new game, but he is a he plays CTP all the time. That's all about making hole-in-ones. Oh, settle. Uh-oh. Okay. okay. He's on the fringe still. Okay. He can still putt it. 
All right, Duncan. 187 nice, with a 195 nice, yard Nice ball. job, Paige. All right. He's, all right. Ooh, he's ooh, coming. Ooh. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, he's going for it all right here. Here we go. Oh. oh. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. Wow. Check it out. Yeah. Look at he, this oh, room. Yeah. This room is packed wow. with Wow. Went, went for the fist bump and didn't get anything back. He didn't get any love. Ouch. Did, did you see that? This match? We'll talk later. All right, back to the action. This, uh, here's Ooh, one. There we go. Nice far setup. Uh, you know what? Well, I play streaks. Tee. I think I can get there. I oh, absolutely. Yeah, I can hard. get there with my Titans. I know the, uh, yeah, there's a guy named Mount. I think Mount. This guy named Mouth. Mount. Mouth. Mark. Mark. How Another you say his Mark. Uh, Malkovich? No. <laughs> That's what they, I know. <laughs> I know. That's what they put on. Remember when they did that? Um, uh, Miklowitz? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, Mark is a great guy. He's an ambassador. Oh, he's team. awesome. I mean, there's so many ambassadors, quite frankly. I think they're all, all you guys are role models to me. Thank you. And what you guys do and what you've brought together as a community, a very diverse community. Mm -hmm. And this game is only going to evolve so much over the next 30 years. I may be dead in the next 30 years, but my point is the game is going to continue to grow. Uh, it, it, we've got I, great I, leaders and I don't great see how it – because well, when I first started, everybody was like, all what's right. Golden to Here we go. Oh, this, this is he's big. Going, this this is, huge. is big. He gets there. This could be a game changer. It's a good get up there. Nope, nope. Uh oh. Oh. Ooh. Now is Duncan gonna lay up or is he gonna go oh, for it absolutely. all? Absolutely. Why wouldn't you? He's gonna lay up because look where they look where they placed him. Oh. Oh man. Duncan Smart. I told you that was a that was. A, so I so would that was a tough one because I may have I may have laid up just to see. That's game. Unless he drinks yeah. it, unless he pulls uh, yeah. a Paul Luna, or not a Paul Luna, a uh, Paul Taylor. Yeah. In uh, the uh, <laughs> per, uh, what was it? The, what was the course? We were here two the, years ago. The, yeah. The Pearl, um, uh, not Pearl, um, uh, Ryland? Was it no, Ryland? No, 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 no. It was the um, the Asian course that we played. Uh, Teal Garden. Yes. Teal Garden. Yeah. Remember when he drained that off the? He went in the water and he drained it in and made it. So this he could still make it. Never say never. Rock's been playing well, but I don't. I don't believe this sends him to the loser bracket. This doesn't end his day. No, this is the winner's bracket still. So. Yeah, so he's thinking about it. I love it. This is what this game does. Yeah. This is the mental this agility. For those that want to understand how to play this game, this is the. This is where you've got to dig deep. Uh, I don't know if I would do this nine iron. I would. He has a sand wedge. I would crush that sand wedge with roll. With roll. Nope. Sorry. Boom. Okay. Man. You know what? That was exciting. That was fun. So, I know. I think this game is over. I hope that was after hole two. That wasn't hole two. It was hole four. That was hole four. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see if you're paying attention, Paul Lady. Yes, I got this. Mark, Mark Tate. Tate here and uh, Paul Lady here bringing you the last NIV. 2019 tournament here in Richmond, Virginia. I think we're going to take a quick break while we make a change. Yeah, we're going to have uh, Hefe coming up and Kevin Lindsay. And we're so, hey, it's been a pleasure, this. Paul. Always. Always. Hopefully we get I, to do this again later. Yeah, I you enjoy know? hanging with you. Oh. Absolutely. So, as we set up for the rest of the afternoon, what do you expect? I don't know. You, that's the thing. It's like you never know because you watch uh, – St. Louis two years ago, Kevin O'Connor ran. To he did. Yeah, he went. He, we all went right. to King of the Hill. You know, that's fantastic. And this is what Golden Tee is all about: is you, it, it unexpected? Would expect the unexpected? And you know, that's just our whole survivor and term. You but know what? As much as I, as much as I respect Mark Stenmark and Paul Luna and all them, but it's so cool to see an underdog come through I and, agree with and, you. and like take one down or whatnot. All righty. So we're gonna we'll, we're we'll gonna do a sign off. We'll, we'll be right back. Thank you, and uh, join us here in a few minutes on Twitch and the NIV. Last NIV. Last NIV. We get that right. All right, Paul. Pleasure being with you. You too, brother.
Yeah.